Hello, my name is Jason Mercer, the Toronto Real Estate Board's Director of Market Analysis and Service Channels. I would like to take the next few minutes of your time to discuss the first set of housing market statistics for 2017. Greater Toronto Area Realtors reported 5,188 residential transactions through TREB's MLS system in January 2017. This result was up by 11.8% compared to 4,640 sales reported in January 2016. Annual rates of sales growth were higher for condominium apartments than for low-rise home types. This likely relates to the fact that the condominium apartment market segment continues to be relatively better supplied than the low-rise market segments. Although it is important to point out that regardless of the home type being considered, the supply of available listings has become increasingly constrained over the last few months. Recent polling by Ipsos suggests that there are many households who are likely to purchase a home in 2017, albeit a slightly lower share than reported by Ipsos in a similar survey conducted a year earlier. Home ownership remains very important to the majority of GTA households. As we move through 2017, we expect the demand for ownership housing to remain strong, including demand from first-time buyers who, according to the recent Ipsos survey, could account for more than half of transactions this year. However, many of these would-be buyers will have problems finding a home that meets their needs in a market with very little inventory. On the listings front, 2017 picked up where 2016 left off. While sales were up on a year-over-year basis, the number of new listings was down by double-digit annual rates for most major home types. Total active listings on TREB's MLS system at the end of January amounted to slightly more than 5,000, essentially half of the 9,966 active listings reported at the end of January 2016. Taking the supply story a step further, average months of inventory was trending at 1.1 for January. This means that if no more listings were entered into TREB's MLS system and the level of sales remained the same, we would absorb all of our inventory in slightly more than one month's time. In many neighbourhoods throughout the GTA, there is less than one month's worth of inventory. This is especially the case in areas characterised by low-rise home types like singles, semis and townhouses. These statistics tell us that there is a serious supply problem in the GTA, a problem that will continue to play itself out in 2017. The result will be very strong price growth for all home types again this year. January was certainly no exception to this outlook. Tight market conditions continue to translate into double-digit annual rates of price growth. The MLS Home Price Index Composite Benchmark Price was up by 21.8% on a year-over-year -year basis in January. Similarly, over the same period, the average selling price was up by 22.3% to $770,745 with double-digit gains in the average prices for all major home types. TREB's recent release Market Year in Review and Outlook Report, which can be found at trebhome.com, points to a 2017 average price of $825,000, a 13% increase compared to calendar year 2016. Expect tight market conditions and strong price growth to remain in place until we see sustained relief on the supply front. TREB is encouraging policymakers at all levels of government to focus more of their attention on issues impacting housing supply and the development of innovative solutions to deal with these issues. There is little doubt that we will continue to focus on these themes in the months ahead. I look forward to speaking with you again soon in a month's time. Thank you very much. Brought to you by GTA Realtors.